Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be discussing the topic on everyone's minds. This is the new chapter. The new chapter is going to be launching today or tomorrow, depending on what time you're watching this. The live event will be happening on the 3rd of December and a new season will be dropping on the 4th of December, which is a Sunday. And in this video, I'm going to be going over some of the leaks, some of the things we have confirmed, and basically what the new season is going to be like. If you find it useful, use code JKC in a Fortnite item shop. Let's get right on into the video. So the live event on the 3rd of December is going to be called Fracture. This is where the entire Fortnite world is going to fracture, as the descriptive title shows you. And the new season is going to be called Reforged, which is basically when it all comes back together and is rebuilt. So that's going to be the theme of the new season, rebuilding a new world, I think. So one of the first massive leaks we have for the new season is we're going to be getting a Fortnite first person mode. Pretty much every other shooter in existence has an option to go first person mode if you want, but Fortnite has never had that option up until now. Fortnite has strictly been a third person shooter game, but having a first person option would be so cool. We think it's only going to be in zero build because the amount of turning and building in the build mode makes it so people might feel a little bit sick. But you never know, it could be an option and it could be quite a cool option at that. Fortnite first person mode is something that I've actually experimented with a little bit in my montages and I think it looks really cool, so we'll have to see. The next massive thing that we pretty much have confirmed is Creative 2.0 is going to be happening at some point next season. This is basically an upgraded version of Creative that's going to make it so Fortnite can host all sorts of games. A little test they did this season was adding the Fortnite map into creative mode. This has already made so many so many content creators like McCreamy and the Power Team check it out and they've all done crazy stuff with it already. So that's a really good showing of what Creative 2.0 could do. You can already create your pretty much own Battle Royale game. So Creative 2.0 is going to be crazy. It's going to create Fortnite into something a little bit similar to Roblox with the maps that people are going to be able to create being limitless. This will, should hopefully bring a new wave of popularity to the game and should be really cool for content at the same time. The next leak we have for the new season is that motorbikes are going to be added. We've had boats, we've had planes, we've had mechs. And now we have motorbikes. I really want motorbikes to work similar to hoverboards in the way you can hit some insane trick shots. I feel like if you could switch seats to the back of the motorbike and hit like a crazy snipe after boosting upwards, that'd be so cool. But just the sound of a motorbike in Fortnite sounds absolutely insane and I can't wait for it. Let me know what you think of motorbikes being added in the comment section. And if you thought motorbikes were crazy, flying rideable animals. We've had rideable animals, we've had boars, we've had wolves. Now we're having a flying rideable animals. It's a mix of planes and boars, I guess. A couple examples that I could think of maybe what type of animals they might add could be dragons, maybe a big eagle slash falcon, and possibly a pterodactyl. I really hope it's dragons. Dragons are so cool. But they were just my ideas, so don't take them ideas any seriously, but we just know we're going to be getting some sort of flying rideable animals in chapter four season one. Next up and the second last one on our list, we have weapon attachments. This one has been leaked for a really, really long time. And it's when you can add things to your weapons to give you a competitive advantage. These could be things like increased scope on a sniper, so you can aim in further and the render distance isn't as short. It could be that sort of stuff. And this has been leaked for a super long time and I think we're finally gonna be getting it in chapter four season one. The final one and the most craziest one is the World Cup. Now this is known by no means confirmed, but a couple days ago some players went into their compete tab and they had New York Majors as an event. This is, looks like it may be codenamed for a Fortnite World Cup. And it was a solo event, so we might be getting another World Cup solos event. The whole scene is going crazy right now and I can't imagine another World Cup. And who knows, maybe Booger will win it again. This World Cup would possibly be taking place somewhere in March next year. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you use code JKC in the Fortnite item shop as this is the number one way to support my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.